Hi everyone and welcome to this channel. Whether it's your first time here or whether you're a subscriber to this channel and you check out this content regularly, thanks so much for watching. If this content provides value, press that like button and consider subscribing to this channel. Today we're going to talk about vibrato. The Webster definition of vibrato is a slightly tremulous effect imparted to vocal or instrumental tone for added warmth and expressiveness by slight and rapid variations in pitch. Certainly instrumentalists develop this concept through listening to great singers. It's not often that I have to teach this as most students sort of develop this naturally. However, as it relates to trumpet and brass players in general, there are multiple ways of doing this and one way that I think is the most widely used and certainly my preferred way. Stick around to the end as I'll share some examples of how to best incorporate vibrato in context. Vibrato is essential and if it is used appropriately, adds expression, intensity, and direction to the music. The only prerequisite to vibrato is playing with a beautiful and characteristic sound to begin with. How you sound is priority number one. I think it's impossible to add the nuance of vibrato before you can play with a characteristic sound because if you're not vibrating freely, the vibrato will be forced and awkward. A vibrato that I occasionally find in students that I don't recommend on brass instruments is a vibrato that is produced from your diaphragm or even your throat. Singers and even flute players produce vibrato this way. If I encounter a student using this sort of vibrato that originates from the diaphragm, I immediately begin the process of beginning new habits so that this type of vibrato begins to fade away. This type of vibrato doesn't allow for the air and tone to pass through freely and sort of impedes that progress, causing the vibrato to lack intensity and direction. Let me try to demonstrate. A second type of vibrato that is more often used in jazz and commercial settings is a hand vibrato. If used appropriately, it can be used in other styles as well. From a technical standpoint, I sort of equate this type of vibrato to what you see with string players. A wrist vibrato or even an arm vibrato, it's fascinating to watch amazing violinists use vibrato. There's a lot to be learned from watching and listening to that. Also, the hand vibrato is similar to what trombonists use with the slide when they play certain styles of music. Although I'm no expert at this type of vibrato, let me demonstrate. The most common and efficient way for brass players to produce vibrato, in my opinion, is a jaw vibrato, or sometimes referred to as a lip vibrato. The vibrato is produced by this sort of chewing motion. You can also think of this by saying the syllables ya ya repeatedly at the desired tempo. When teaching this, I like to teach this in an exaggerated way so that the student gets a feel for the mechanics of it. I'll demonstrate. Another exercise that can help you gain control of the vibrato is to practice with a metronome. Basically doing a chewing motion on quarter notes, then eighth notes, then triplets, and then sixteenths. Let's take a listen. Although the technique of using vibrato is slightly different than what singers use, the concept of copying great singers is very important in the development of different types of vibrato for different styles. Next I'm going to demonstrate some vibrato in context. My favorite way to use vibrato in certain styles is to establish the note and then add vibrato to it. Next is an example of playing a more bluesy style of vibrato. Now I'll demonstrate a very quick vibrato used in certain styles of music.
It's important to note that you need to be able to control your vibrato. You should be able to turn it on and turn it off. Also, it's not always appropriate to use vibrato in an ensemble as it can cause you to stick out of the texture. Think of vibrato as more of that cherry on top of your already beautiful sound to be used in a featured passage or a solo piece. If you have any questions or thoughts about this, don't hesitate to reach out in the comments below. And thanks again for watching.